Good morning. I got my herd eating together this morning. As I've said before, they are all boars. So they live in separate quarters normally. The twins are in one area. Jesse and Rex have another. And Coco is solo. But every once in a while, I'll let them eat together. Really, the only time they have issues is, you know, when they start doing the dominance stuff. So I have three dominants. Um, D is a dominant over here, and Rex is a dominant, and Coco is a dominant. And that's why they can't all live together. Now these four used to live together, except D, when D decided, this one here, when he decided he was going to um, step up, it didn't work out too well with Rex, so we had to split them up, but, oh, there we go, see, Coco's wanting to explore and stuff, and Rex was like, no sir, you are not getting past me. But usually with their mouths full, they can't fight, so let's just let them eat together. <clears throat> so I have and my two submissives, of course, are Jesse and Tribble Dumb. <laughs> this is Tribble Dumb and Tribble D. So D and Dumb. Yeah, so uh I just wanted to share my herd. Bunch of, oh, so uh, we're eating this morning. We have stilt grass and some carrot tops. I have a, a huge carrot that was left over from my garden last year. And so the carrot part's probably, the root is probably too bitter to eat at this point, but I'm letting the tops grow so I can get some seeds for next year. So you can kind of see how these four are still kind of, still kind of get along. And really they all get along with the exception of if D wouldn't pester Rex, I would just let them do their thing. But he just really, he just really wants Rex's crown. So I just don't even, I just don't even let him fight for it. It's just Rex is older and um, there's just no reason for it. So I just let them live peacefully in their separate little corners. Well, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you all stay safe and healthy. And I will see you next time.